We are in the presence of an absolute living legend in the sport of dirt bikes, former motocross and supercross star, and of course, freestyle guru, the first human being ever to land a backflip. We're with Kerry Hart. Kerry, it's great to have you here in Australia, buddy. Hey, it's good seeing you again. It's good to be here. It's been a long time. I remember back in the day, long uh, road trip we had all the way over to Seattle Supercross, but some good memories. There's a lot of people don't know how far me and you go back, you know, back to the privateer. God, I, I was probably 16. You were probably in this about 16, 17, somewhere in that area. And, you know, it's, it's fun to kind of reconnect and still still be involved, you know. We're, we're still part of the sport, which is nice as old farts. But, uh, you know, but, but you know, but, but, but with that said, you know, like this last few years have been such a whirlwind for me. Like, I, I actually do enjoy, you know, loading up in the motorhome, grabbing some buddies, going out to the desert, going doing some free ride and drinking some beer. Well, you certainly look like you've still got the skills, mate. Now, tell us your clothing brand, Hart & Huntington. What's your motivation and behind that? Well, it, it all stemmed from Hart & Huntington Tattoo Company, which uh, I, I started, I had my first one in a hotel uh, in the Palms in Las Vegas, which now we're in Hard Rock. And we, we did two seasons of TV show, which was inked, uh, and you know, I think it aired over here for a bit. But it's just like, that was kind of like the, the starting base. And then just from my, my history, you know, much like you, like you're, you're brought up around having sponsors, clothing sponsors, motocross gear sponsors, and, and you're always around on some level of fashion. And uh, this was an opportunity for me to kind of take that brand that I built through tattooing and keep that same kind of tattoo art influence, but kind of roll it into both lifestyle, racing worlds, and, you know, and, and even in the music. Have we got any chance of seeing a, a shop over here in Australia? Yeah, you know, honestly, I would love to do it. You know, like uh, while I was on this trip, I want to look around some different areas. You know, if it's down Chapel Street, Melbourne, if it's, you know, maybe Gold Coast. But, you know, I, I just, I, I love tattooing. Like, and it's one of those things like I'm actually really passionate about. It's, it's not about getting rich off of tattoos, nothing like that. It's just like, it's something I'm really into and I'm passionate about. And, you know, with the Australian fan base and, and how passionate Australians are with tattooing, I, I think it'd be a great fit. So, yeah, I mean, keep, keeping my fingers crossed, I'd love to do a shop out here. I'm back with the bikes, hey, with the boys. the success you've had with so many different things I know your roots come from motocross supercross do you still have a little bit of a passion for the sport oh a hundred percent you know how it is you know you, you get knocked down the dirt so many times and hurt so many times and you know it sidelined me for a long time I got hurt and I couldn't ride for about four years and over the course of the last three years I'm getting better and better and having more fun and more fun at it you know and I want to come out and ride again being one of the major pioneers in the in the sport of freestyle and of course the first backflip uh, you'll always be remembered for that what do you think of the state of the sport at the moment the direction it's heading where can it go from here I, I think it's amazing honestly like I, I'm so happy the fact that you know the younger generation coming up is still pushing the boundaries so hard I mean you got Sinclair doing consistent double double backflips now uh, I mean there's just so much you know progression going on with the sport and you know that the thing that gets scary is when things flatten off like like you know like if, if a sport flattens off it usually goes away and as long as these guys are still pushing it and, and progressing uh, it's, it's gonna be around and I, and I think now is the time though it, it lies more on the promoters to start building better events better courses to, to really keep challenging these guys because the only thing I see holding people back now is just the too basic of a freestyle course you know, and just like with Supercross, you have to keep evolving Supercross and Motocross. You have to keep evolving the tracks with the talent for the for the sport to keep succeeding. Thanks, Gary. Cool, man. Thanks, Lars. Good seeing you again.